Chapter 4 Bad. Bad! <laughs> Ever since the Grimstreet incident, I lost all trust in talking. So I wasn't sure how much worse Wagner thought of her, and I never wanted to see her again. One thing that disturbed me was about Maylin. She was our bodyguard, so it kept us as if we were her own children. Yet she seemed utterly powerless against the strange woman. I could tell she knew something that neither me nor Flander knew. Day was going pretty normal, except me and Flander were dead silent for a long time. They were too scared to say anything to one another. Saki had just come to herself, but seemed to watch us go, as if expecting something from us. Sometime around noon, I had to go to the bathroom, so I ran off to the bathroom only to find the door was locked. Hello? I asked. Anybody in there? I don't think there is anybody in there. Saki has cooed to me. Their problem? I have to pee. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. No, better worded. Problem Amelia? <laughs> I have to pee very badly, I admitted. But the door is locked. Saki made a thick frown and tried to open the door to no avail. Oh dear, I'll be right back. I might be able to get it open. Saki ran off, but she didn't seem to be coming back. I knocked on the door and then. Anybody still in there? Then I noticed that the vent above me was open. So that is what she did, I thought I could do it to myself. She locked it from the other side and got out via the back. I tried to get up to them, but I was too sure to not get a ladder. But she has wings. <laughs> Just say, you know, you can't forget, this isn't Amelia. Really. She has bat wings. She's a vampire. Can't you turn to a bunch of bat bats in front of the She's apparently not that talented. <laughs> Way to go, Talisman. Nope. <laughs> I was getting more and more desperate as the feeling worsened. There was no time to run or call for me land. And... And there was no time to become a bunch of bats. Or just fly because you have wings. In fact, I can only do that. Time drop is scary. The nicotine ready to pour out as water and the electric gas. Furious with desperation, I flung myself at the door and pounded on it, repeatedly with both hands. Open up for the love of God! Saki came running back with Brother, who seemed somewhat desperate for herself. Just give me a second, please, Saki giggled. Hey, hey, what's the plural of sex? I refuse to say. <laughs> Just give me a second, oh, true. Sakura giggled as she walked through the door and began inspecting. It was one step or two too long. I had a sense of comfort and refreshment for one second, but I could tell from the warm look of running down my pantaloons and from my sister's facial expression that this was nothing to be relieved about. The liquid got faster than I could comprehend, but all I could do was just stand there and look down at my accidental misdeed. I just peed myself, I thought shamefully. I, a big girl, perfectly capable of using a toilet, just peed in my pants. I, a big girl. I shouldn't say that in my narrator voice. <laughs> By the time I was done, there was a big dark spot between my legs and the carpet below me. It didn't smell very pleasant. Ew, Flander exclaimed. Amelia went pee pee. Or that you actually went you at the bottom of it. I did, but. No. Saw you had turned and half assed the throne. I could tell that this is what she intended to happen. Hurry, Glenda cried as she reached her peak of desperation. I don't want to pee pee my clothes like this. 
Almost got it, Sakia lightly lied. She tried to shake my head, trying to let Splendor know that she wouldn't open the door until she started feeling it, but she didn't seem to understand. Finally, Splendor's bladder couldn't take the abuse any longer. She squealed as a dark slab appeared between her legs and spread to the floor. What a disaster, Sakia infantilely ex exclaimed as she finally got the door open. Since these girls made this mess, you will clean it up, she nagged. But first, let's get you both cleaned up. Good, Splendor remarked, unaware of Sakura's intention. I don't want to wear these smelly pee pee clothes. Wait, is that the end of the chapter? Yeah. Oh, wow. Um, so, story so far. I feel ashamed. <laughs> For reading this. Hey, at least you didn't write it. <laughs> oh, don't worry. I, I sincerely believe that once I head out back to my place, you're going to enjoy this story if you're catching my drift. Nah, I'm just messing with you. You're about to cry like a little lowly vampire. <laughs>